Hello everyone, how are we today? I have been wanting to film all morning, it's 12.30 now and I have not, just not been able to figure out what I don't want, what, blah, 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 what I wanted to do. So I've got out my collage phone book, you guys may have seen this before, this is a phone, just an old, you know, a phone book, it's just a phone book, nothing very exciting and I just basically stick all my scraps onto these phone book pages and they just become like collage masterboards and this is where I'm at with it so far um so I've got a few pages done in here it's coming along I'm really liking it um it's a lot of fun it's extremely relaxing I find very like therapeutic and you don't have to think anything about it it's just sticking down the stuff which is extremely fun. So these two pages here I'm still working on, but the other ones are all pretty done. Um, and today I just kind of felt like I might want to make some postcards and then I can send some out in Happy Mail. Um, so I thought, <clears throat> excuse me, um, this one's already fallen out because they're really easy to tear out. You can see this one's starting to come out. Let's just tear it. They just pull out so easy. It's amazing. So I'm going to just... Let's just do the two for now. I, my voice has gone all funky. Um, and we can come back to this if we want to. But I'm going to just go ahead and cut this into some postcards. Um, and then we'll decorate a little bit. And then that will be amazing. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just trim a little bit off the edge. I'm thinking this edge because it's the one that's all wibbly wobbly. Um, because I know that postcards need to fit within certain dimensions get that out of there um and i want to make sure that it does so let me just <clears throat> excuse me my voice is just going nuts today so a postcard has to fit within the 13 centimeters by 125 centimeters so going across there's actually not an issue with the length of it however i am going to trim just a, a squidge um, then this way it needs to be less than 260 and it's not it's more so as in to make two out of this page so I need to cut off a little bit so I'm going to just cut off a touch from the bottom and a touch from the sides and then cut it in half that's the plan so I'm going to just go ahead and cut off about that much because then these are like fun scraps I can either go ahead and stick this back in my my book or I can stick it down the edge of my page and it's just like a weird scrappy kind of thing, which is always fun. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and cut, I think I'm going to cut from this end because it's got a bit of a lump hanging out there. Um, and this one's nice and flat, so it just kind of makes sense to cut that one off. And then here is another funky little scrap piece that I can use for whatever. Now we're going to cut these in half into two postcard sizes, so I'm just checking... Um, with my ruler here, I hope I'm, I'm on camera, but yes, we are under the 26 centimeters, perfect, um, and that we are roughly, yeah, roughly the middle, so I think we're good there. Here we go, two postcards, they don't have to be identical, oh, they actually are identical, look at that, they line up perfectly, I don't know how I managed that, um, that is a super surprise that I could manage to get that to work, so I'm just going to line that up I'm going to trim off the excess. I love the border on this one. Look at the funky colours. And then I'm going to trim this side too just a little bit because it's quite wibbly wobbly. And I just want to straighten it up a touch. Um, that is pretty much nothing. That one's just going to go in the bin, I think, because it's so thin. Um, we're going to take a bit off this end because this end, again, has bits sticking out over the top. So it makes sense to cut it from this end. Just like that. Funky piece to add to my journal just making sure that again it's under the limit it is beautiful so now I'm going to just roughly get it to about the halfway mark and cut and how well did I do this time at making them even oh a lot worse quite different but that doesn't matter unless of course this one now is over 13 so let me just double check that one because it is wider oh it's it is literally bang on I'm gonna just cut a tiny where you from yeah this end just going to cut a sliver off just because I want to make sure it definitely gets measured as under that 13 centimeters and won't get you know binned because it's too wide perfect okay we've got four postcards now I'm going to decorate them we're going to do something with them anyway because I feel like I just want to add a little bit more to them 
These are my scraps that are left over. I'm just going to pop them up in front of me. And then we've got these fun postcard bases. So this is a really great idea to obviously how to use up your phone book masterboard pages when you've got them done is um yeah like this just turn them into some postcards and then send them out in some happy mail i think that is just so super cool so they yeah they're well and truly the right you know within the within the guidelines of how big a postcard can be i'm going to back them onto some plain paper now i've got to just think about where is plain paper? I know that seems absolutely insane for someone like me who has paper coming out my ears. But where is just some plain stuff? Um, what have I got? Here we go. I've got this, which is just, you know, a, draw a drawing pad kind of thing that the covers will come off. I think I just got it from an op shop or something. Um, so I'm going to just end up gluing these all on. But I might do that later. Because I feel like that's kind of a boring thing to watch. So we won't bother with that on camera. You guys get how to glue this down, I'm sure. Um, you're all very talented, creative people who know how to glue. Now let's go ahead and, and do some decorating. So I'm just going to pull down some of my boxes of like magazine clippings here. So I've got a bunch of stuff. Let's see what we want to add on. Oh, look at this fun little... Gorilla or monk, I don't know, orangutan, I don't know. This little mon uh, monkey, this is a rabbit, is a cute one. Um, I'm just having a look at what I've got in here. What do I want to use? What could I cut out? I love these birds. Maybe one of these birds could go somewhere. Maybe we could do even two. Who knows? I've got a bunch of them. Um, what else do I have in here that I think I could use? Um, I'd like to do some that isn't a bird. I mean, I like birds, but... I'd like to have a good combo to send out. There's this little turtle. I just feel like he's not the right shape. I mean, he's a beautiful shape. It's just the ground might not work. There's this one with cats, which is quite fun. You guys know I love cats. Um, what else do I have in here? What else? got this cute deer I like that deer actually that one's probably going to get used this cute little dog he looks fun I like him um what else do I have I'm just going to pull out some things until I'm like settled onto something this beautiful tiger I'm not sure if I can use that one though I just I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to sit right um What else do I want to do? What else? Okay, maybe maybe that's good on animals. Have I got any fun people that I might want to use? I don't know. Um, just sorry, guys. This is probably quite boring because you probably can't even see what I'm doing. I am just shuffling through bins to find. There's this interesting little piece here that I could use. Um, what else do I have? Is these cute people having a high five? Um, I'm just looking for things in the right sort of size and shape that's going to fit on a postcard nicely that I would like to would like to use. You know, this guy riding a bike is pretty cute. Okay, we've got a few bits there. That's a great start. I also wanted to pull out my words where the diggins is that little container normally i have them up in this one spot but oh wait it is there oh it is there it was there all along right right where it was supposed to be so wonderful we've got the word wonders that's pretty fun um that would work okay i'm just gonna keep shuffling through this and just see if anything jumps out at me is like this would work on a postcard. Um, open up a world of colour. I like that. That's pretty fun. What about... Um, what else do we have? Fortunes. Kind of fun. Um, good. I like good. What about... Um, World of Whimsy. That's a fun one. That's a fun one. A Taste for Life, or just Taste for Life. That's pretty fun too. 
I love using words and phrases out of magazines. I just feel like it's so, so fun. Holy moly is kind of a fun one. Um, what else do I have here? Beauty. I mean, I could just do some random stuff like lunches. That would be pretty, pretty random. Um, I don't know if I'll use that or not. What else do I have? Arts are alive. That's kind of fun. The science of nice. What else do I have? Perfect timing. What else is in here? Oh, inspiring. Okay, those are some words. Oh, 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 everything's falling out onto me. Okay. I like this deer and I'm pretty sure I'm going to use them. So I'm going to just kind of go ahead here and sort of cut around them. I am obviously not fussy cutting. I'm doing this very loosely. Very loosely indeed with a big wide border. And I think this is called kiss cutting maybe. Like it's, uh, kiss cutting might be closer in even than what I'm doing. I don't know, but. I'm sort of loosely cutting around the shape of what I've got here. Okay, and I think that that's going to look really cute, like right over on the edge there of it with some words or something else out the side. And I'll, I'll definitely try it out on a bunch of them and see which one I think it looks good on. I actually like this bird with this edge up the top. I think that's already pretty fun. Um, and I can just find a little spot for that somewhere on one of the postcards. So I'm liking these two options. Um, this little guy on the bike is really cool. I actually like him quite a lot on this one. Um, so I like them. And then I've got to decide on one more thing. This dog's pretty fun. The cats are pretty fun. I think I'm leaning towards maybe this dog. Let me just try out this one. This one's quite funky too, but it's, it does seem small. I don't know. I, I like it though. I do like it. Really random. Um, okay, so I'm just going to scoot all the words over to the side so I can get my bearings on what I've actually got here. Throw that bit away. Okay. Okay. Do I like which bird do I like better? That's the question too, isn't it? Good. I mean, I, I quite like that. That's pretty fun. Put that word good there. Kind of overlapping. Okay, I like this. I think we're just going to start rolling with this. I think I'm going to trim it down a little bit more so that I can see a bit more of the scrap paper that I've stuck down, you know. No point having all of this extra white just so that I can cover up all of the beautiful colour underneath. That would be insanity. Insanity! Okay, so we've got our cute little bird here. We've got our good. Um like that oh I like it okay I definitely need something else something else happening but I think we're going to add some paint pen and things like that too which will make it work a little bit better but I'm liking this so far actually I think that this is quite funky um so paint pen I've just pulled out this neon pink and I'm gonna do stars because stars is what I always do Stars are my go-to for everything. It's not sticking super well because some of this paper is quite shiny. And so it is definitely having a bit more of a hard time on the shiny paper. This gold paper is actually packaging from a block of chocolate. And it's very shiny food packaging, you know. And so it's not sticking. Sticking? Is sticking the word I would use here? I don't know. Um, it's not sinking in, I guess. This one's also very shiny paper. Um, it's a pamphlet kind of thing and it's not, again, sinking in or sticking or however you want to phrase it as best as it could. Oh, that's the same. This is the same paper. This one is this one. And it's really just, I can see it just sort of separates out on the, on the paper. Like it doesn't want to just sit there nicely. It wants to just separate out. So it is tricky using this kind of paper if you want to do paint pen work. So... Bear that in mind. I do love adding some pink though. Pink is a good colour. Okay. Okay. I'm going to just move that one off to the side. Pull away my scraps. And now I'm going to stick this down. 
because I know I like it. I'm not going to faff about. I'm just using double-sided tape, and I don't really know why I am. I just saw it and grabbed it. Um, this is a slightly thicker, kind of more cardstocky piece, this this little bird image. So maybe it is best with double-sided tape. I don't know. It just seems to be happening that I'm using double-sided tape. Just A-OK. -okay. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and stick it on. I'm also thinking I might maybe try and use a little bit of washi tape as well, potentially, on this. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. And I also want to use some of my glittery stuff. My glittery stuff. Okay, now where do I want to place this? Because I can see the paint pen is still a little wet, so I'm just being trying to be careful with my fingers. Um, there we go. So I've got that on, and I'm going to definitely use glue stick for the word good, because that's not on cardstock, that's just magazine Magazine paper. It is a thicker magazine paper, but it's still just, it's not that thick. Okay, so let's pop that one. Have I moved this too far? Hmm. No, it does fit on, but only just. I think that could have been scooted a little bit further that way. That's all right, though. It's a-okay. I am wondering if I might trim a bit more off the edge here, though, because I think that this maybe is too centered now um, for my liking. So we might trim off the edge of that. Let's see how I do trimming without my actual trimmer. Let's see how we do with me just trimming with my scissors. It's not bad. That, I mean, I think I cut that pretty straight, right? That looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty good. I'm going to put that up there with those scraps. It's looking quite cute, though. I think that's pretty cute. Um, I kind of want to do some sort of border, and I think I'm going to do it in black. And I'm trying to decide now if I use maybe a black Sharpie. I don't know if this will work very well looks alright. Just because I know the paint pen didn't super love sticking on here, so maybe Sharpie might be a better option. So we're trying that out. Giving that a go. Just going to do kind of a messy border. It's not doing well. It is not doing well either on that shiny paper. I can. It feels like it really doesn't want to write on this. I think it's because it's gone through the paint pen actually. I think the paint pen is clogging up my Sharpie, which is not super ideal. Ugh, that feels awful on here. I'm going to use paint pen, I think, next. Go to the black paint pen. It's all right, actually, when on certain papers, again, I think it's better than others. And, yeah, it just didn't, it wasn't nice down the bottom there. So I might go over the bottom part with the paint pen. It's, again, it's on the shiny paper. It doesn't, doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. I'll have to bear in mind when I'm making these um, masterboards that, Pens and things don't really like my food packaging that I'm using. I just thought it would be a good idea to use it up because it's just sort of like some interesting gold and colour kind of in the background at this point. It doesn't necessarily look like food packaging anymore, you know? Um, I'm just adding some like little squiggly lines. And then I think I'm going to use this white. Well, it's actually not white. This is ivory paint pen. And just sort of add maybe some more marks. Again, it doesn't like the magazine paper at all. And it's the same colour as this paper, so it's not really doing much on there. But it's still quite funky. Wow, that is just soaked in. You can't even see that. Yikes. Okay, this paper it does not like the paint pens. Either it's just seeping straight in and there's no colour at all. Like, you can't even see that. It just looks like an oily mark now. So I've just got to keep maybe adding some layers on layers here because it's just sinking in so fast and not leaving any colour or it's not going to dry very quickly. So we're having a real time with this, aren't we? Okay, well, I'm going to leave that and I'll come back and I'll do more of this over the top of those other parts so that we can get some colour on there. Let's have a look at our next one. I really love this holy moly. I think that's kind of super fun. I'm just going to trim it a little bit straighter if I can. Like that. And then we're going to go in again at the top and just see how straight I can get this. I just think it's sort of a fun thing on there. And then maybe we want to do like the dog sticking out of the holy moly. I kind of like him. I think he's fun. Okay. I'm liking this. 
I am liking this. Do I want it on this background though? Let's decide which background I like the best with him and holy moly. I like this one better than this one so far, so that one's out. And then let's try out this one too. I quite like this one as well, actually. This one, let me think. This one or this one? Do I like it? I think I'm going with this, this one here. I think I'm going with this one. I don't know why. I just think that I am. Okay. Let's go ahead and stick them down. I think it's so funny. Okay, I love this dog. He's a cute little dog. Looks like from turning it over, I can see it's from a farming catalog that I've had. You can tell from the, what's on the back. Which is just like brown and green and orange kind of. Looks like a, oh, this isn't it. It's because it's on the back of the dog, you dumb dumb. Um, it's like a, yeah, it's definitely a farming one. You guys don't care. It doesn't matter at all. All right. I'm just sort of rabbiting on. It, today, actually, the day I'm filming this, is my sweet little niece Freya's second birthday. And I am going to go wrap her presents in a minute. And then I'll be soon going up to see her. And I can't wait because she's too... Oh my gosh, I don't know how she got so big. Just seems insane to me. Insane. Okay. Oh, I found this butterfly. Do I want to add like a random butterfly? I don't know that it needs it. Although I'm thinking this needs it. I like this. If I can get this to peel up. Come on, bird. Come on, bird. It is a sticker, but it's just being extremely difficult. There we go. I like that up here like this. I do. I like that butterfly there. Okay, that feels a lot more complete now. Okay. What do I want to do with this one now to just, you know, pull it together a bit more? I wish I had something in this green colour. Actually, I do have this acrylic ink by De La Rowney. And it is, what colour was it? Genesis Green. It's beautiful. Um, it's incredibly messy, this stuff, I find. But it is so pretty. And I love how it matches the words holy moly. Like, it's a beautiful match with it so I'm just going to add these like squiggles around I don't know why just am just the squiggles are calling to me right now they seem easy and fun and that's what I'm I'm needing in my days at the moment easy fun okay getting it on the desk getting it very thick everywhere Okay, just a little bit more up here, I think. A little bit more. Am I going overboard? Yes. Yes, I am. Way overboard, but I'm fine with it. Okay, we've added a lot of the green squiggles. We're going to need to leave that one to dry for a while now because it's really thick and really wet and just is going to need a lot of dry time. So I'm going to pop him aside too. Where? Where? Over here. Okay, that's a spot. Found a spot of clear something. It's actually just precariously perched on a little open drawer. So it's not really a good spot, but it is a spot. So I love the holy moly dog. He's cute. Okay, uh, the sun's coming in, so I'm going to need to be quick. Because I did this, even though I knew this was a bad time of day. Because it was so overcast and foggy, I was like, oh, I can still film. I can still film. And now... Of course I'm filming, the sun comes out. Of course. Oh, my deer. I really loved this deer. Um, I like him here. I do. Okay, what are we, what, what one of our words do I think? Perfect timing. That looks quite good. Um, a world of whimsy. I think it's, it actually kind of fits down in this little frame here. Quite cute. But I think I like perfect timing because I think it's a better size. Um, and I like the green with it. I think I want to add something else somehow, but I don't have any clue what. Um, no clue. I'm just pulling out something here and I'm just adding a border because I want to. And I'm going to do this border first this time. 
paint pen. This one doesn't have any of that shiny. Oh, this one's a little shiny, but I think it'll still be okay, maybe. Yep, it is. That's good. Um, it's definitely a lot nicer on this paper to use the paint pen. So that is good. Okay, now we're going to stick our deer on. We're just going to start sticking because I am faffing about and I need to go wrap my phrase little presents up for her birthday this afternoon. We're going up and having like a family tea. Um, she's actually going to, I just heard, just before I started filming, I heard my mum drive past my house because I know it's her because if Freya is in the car, the horn will be honking and honking and honking as they drive past my house because Freya loves it when you honk the horn in the car. So she makes anyone who's driving past any of us honk the horn continuously. And she knows that when she goes past Aunt Lydda's house, they honk, honk, honk the horn. Um, I'm looking at this random cake. I don't know about it. Um, it actually blends in a little much here, I think. Perfect timing. And then... Well, the Science of Nice is really cute too. Um... I actually am liking this, and I'm thinking maybe I'll do some, some things happening out here. What am I going to do out there? I actually don't want that one. I want this one. Changing my mind. And we're going up like this. I'm adding some beams. Wish I'd done these beams before I added the deer, but it's okay. We can make it work. And they're going to go right off the page, I think. I like this. I'm having fun with this. I mean, fun is the most important thing. These are too close together. It doesn't matter. Let's just add some more in everywhere and then it, then there's no such thing as too close together. This is fun. Okay, you can tell I'm going a bit quiet because I'm starting to get absorbed in the fun of it. And that is really the whole goal of art, but it's not the whole goal of making a YouTube video. So I've got to be a little conscious that I don't just go too silent, but... I'm enjoying the very random look of this. Um, let's stick down our The Science of Nice on here. It needs to scoot back over this way a little bit. I like that it's inside this little bumblebee frame that's on here. I like that. Um, what about you? Do I like you on here? I think I do. I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense. But does anything in this world, does anything make sense? Yes, some things, but this one, no. Okay. Let's get this. Oh, it's stuck it down to this page pretty well. But I think I'm going to add them up here. Straight onto the white, little wet paint pen, but it's going to stick fine. Oh, I like him. I like him there. I can see this one soaking in, so I'm just adding a bit more with the paint pen and then at the end all of these are going to get a nice glitter dousing so that's still to come um but they've got to be dry for that so i think i'll do that maybe tomorrow or something when the holy moly green dog is all dried off i like this little picture um and i think i like maybe like these i don't know i like the colour matching of this. Um, and I like the world of whimsy. Hmm. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Okay, we're getting a fresh bit of glue page. I'm actually going to just wipe my fingers a little bit too because I'm getting a bit gluey myself. So give that a little wipe down. Um, okay. Let's get this on here. It's going down in this bottom corner. Then we're going to add the word beauty somehow up here, but I just can see it's a very wonkily cut out and I need to just neaten that up a little bit. It's just that bottom part was really, really wonky. In fact, probably all of it is, but it was particularly bad at the bottom. 
so let's add that sort of centered I think up the top there and then a world of whimsy I think I'm gonna sort of cut around this one a little more because of how I've cut it out originally is really bad so I just am gonna cut around it a little bit more to the shape of the words I don't typically do this but I'm trying it today I'm just gonna do it hope you guys are doing well I am obviously getting prepped for Frey's birthday dinner then she's got her her proper little party on Saturday which will be cute I made some little gift bags for her and her friend I mean I haven't I'm not doing the filling of them um I just made the the bag outers my sister asked me to make some for Frey's so I did that I did that last night and this morning I'll have to show you them wait on a second because they're just here She's having like a little wild animal themed party and there's her and then her three um, three other little kids are coming. So we've got these little animal bags that I made to put all of their little gift party favour things in and I, I had so much fun making them. Um, so yeah, those are them in case in case anyone's interested in seeing what, what I've been working on there for Freya's birthday. Um, I like how this is turning out. I want to use a blue, but I don't really have a blue. I've got this, this really dark blue. That will work, actually, I think. This will work. I'm going to just add sort of a little border on here. And then... Hmm, let's just add some dots. It's all over. Okay, we've got some dots. That's something. Um, and then maybe this pink, because this is the same pink as this. And maybe I will try and add some little stars in, because, again, I always am doing something. Look at that. I managed to really get the blue in that pink paint pen. Fabulous. Love that for me. Making a real mess. That one shows up not at all. I like them on here actually on the on this so they show up a lot better on this. Cute. Okay, these are definitely going to need to be gone over. A bunch of times because the paper is obviously very absorbent and it's just soaking the color of the paint pen straight into it so it's a wonky little star okay there we go all right that look that looks good let's just do a little one more over here and a little one more over there I like them to be going off the edge as well okay these turned out cute okay I think let's go ahead and add a little bit of acrylic ink to some of these as well because I can. Just like a little few dots of gold. Ooh, so pretty. Because we're going to have to finish these off tomorrow as it is because of the other one being all covered in green. So I might as well make them all be more interesting with with ink okay I love the gold on that I think that really is pretty okay so now we've got this one do I want I think I'm going to go with do I want to go with gold again or green again maybe actually I think I'm going to jump back in with the green on that one why there's green and letters and green here so I just think I'm gonna I think the green would be fun Oh, pretty. I love this green. And I almost never use my acrylic inks because they're so messy and they take so long to dry. So I'm glad that I'm getting a little bit of, you know, I'm taking a bit of time to actually get them out and play with them. Alrighty. Green dots everywhere. That one's quite messy. 
but I like it. This one, I am thinking, do I want to go green, gold, or hot pink? Because I've got a hot pink acrylic ink as well. This beautiful pink. I'm thinking actually, oh my gosh, this is really hard. Maybe I need to do a little bit of each of them. I don't know. Um, looks like I'm going green. I'm not regretting it. I like this green so much. It's really beautiful. I'm trying to do some little lines, but it's not super working. They're getting a bit blobby. It's fine. It's all just interesting marks. And we'll add a bit of gold. And I'm going to add a bit of gold right there because where the... Um, where the oh, get your finger out of it, Lydia. Um, where the, the cream paint pen was just looks like dirty, oily marks on some of this paper. And I'm annoyed by that. So I'm just going to go in and add the gold over the top. And no one would know that we made... Oh, it wasn't a mistake. It just didn't... I don't know. It didn't work as well as I'd hoped it would. So here we go. Add some gold. And now I'm going to add hot pink too and, and probably regret it because it'll probably just be so busy. Oh, if I can open it. There we go. I don't regret it. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's just so busy and bold and bright. It's beautiful. Okay. I love it. I'm just going to put a little bit more because I can't stop myself. There we go. Okay, guys. So I think that we might be done with these funky postcards for today. I will bring you back again tomorrow when they're all dry and we will go ahead and we're going to add the glitter onto them. Um, I've got this, these really chunky glitter glue things and oh, they're just the most delicious. They're the glitter, folk art glitter effects. Love them. Um, so they are what we've got going on at the moment. Super in love with them. I hope you guys are enjoying them and I'll see you back in a moment. Well, it'll feel like a moment to you. It'll feel like a day for me and we'll, we'll get the glitter on here. Good morning, friends. Well, it's barely morning. I think we're getting pretty close to 12 o'clock. It is absolutely freezing today. So excuse the fact I'm wearing like my enormous big hoodie. Um, I'm just so cold. It's so freezing. So here are our little postcards. They have turned out so cute. I have backed them because I figured you guys didn't need to see me um, just glue them down to white paper. It's not super interesting, but we have backed them. We've got our cute little postcards. I just wanted to add the glitter on top. And to do that, I honestly just use my finger. I'm just going to pull my sleeves up a little bit because um, we're going to get sticky here. Um, let's go ahead. I've got two types. I've got this tangerine color. It's called tangerine neon. And then I've just got the clear holographic one. Um, so honestly, I think this one here, I'm going with the tangerine color. I'm just feeling those vibes this morning. Um, and to do it, I basically, I just sort of squeeze it out onto my finger like this, like this. It's probably not the best way of doing it, but it's how I do it. And I'm just sort of putting it on like a few spots. I'm not going to have it everywhere, although likely I will, because I don't know how to stop. Um, but the plan is just to sort of smush it down into a few places around on the postcard. And I think, I mean, I think we're probably pretty well good with it now. I don't know. I, I really love this glitter and I always go a little over the top with it because it's so sparkly and beautiful. I love it. So that's looking really fun. Um, let's do, which one else? Do I need another one with pink? Or do I want to go, I think this one, we're going to go pink on this one. And then we might do the clear on the other two. Don't know why, just that's what I'm deciding right in this moment. So adding in some of this glitter around in different sort of spots. I just love to add that bit of sparkle. It's so fun. I love glitter on everything. So I'm, I'm surprised it took me so long to, to try this glitter stuff. I only got it, I think, last month. And I've used heaps of it, I think. I feel like I use it all the time. It's about halfway through, and this one's maybe a third of the way through. Um, but I just use them all the time. They're so, so fun. Um, okay, right. I'm just going to get my little wet wipe here and just sort of clear off the finger. And then we'll go in with the clear glitter, which is just as beautiful. I really want to get a few more colors of these. They're not super cheap. 
Um, but they do, I do think they last a fair while. Um, so I definitely enjoy them, would buy again, um, and will buy again, to be honest. Um, but yeah, they're not like the cheapest things out, but they're just, the, the glitter in them is so chunky. I just think it's beautiful. Um, so let's add some of the clear onto this little doll, around this little dog. I just love glitter. It's so, so beautiful. It makes me incredibly happy to have things covered in glitter. And I'm trying not to leave um, any really thick lumps. Because it's a postcard and it has to go through the mail, um, you don't want having to have like any real thick. This one has it literally everywhere and I love it, except for on the dog. Um, I love it. Okay, that's beautiful. But you don't want to have big, thick, chunky lumps because it needs to be quite flat to go through the mail. So let's just do this one and then we will be done with the glittering. So I just need to wait for that glitter to dry and then we'll go ahead and we'll do the back. I should have, I should have done the back first because that way I could have then moved on to the glitter and that would have been the video completed for you guys. But I haven't, so that's okay. A little bit more. Oh, can you hear? I don't know if you can hear that rain. It's actually hail. It's actually hailing a little bit. It's so cold. I, I don't know that you'll be able to hear it, but it is coming down at the moment it is freezing today i had a look at the weather report um thing on like just on the app on my phone and it said that today is going to be about um five degrees which is not super warm um that's celsius and i think that was maybe like 30 fahrenheit i could be wrong on that let me just double check i've got my phone here beside me so let me just check on that but it says that there's going to be snow around the mountains i live up on a hill but i'm not quite as high as that sorry 39 degrees fahrenheit so i was a bit off 39 degrees fahrenheit um for four degrees celsius which is actually what it said it was going to be four degrees it was four degrees when i checked this morning um freezing gold and so yeah we are we are looking to get snow at around 500 meters up in the hills. And I think I am about 300 meters high where I live on the mount on the hill I live on. So, you know, like it's still not, it's not going to have snow here, but it's cold enough that you can feel that snowy temperature in the air here. It's freezing. Um, so I am going to let these dry off and then I'm going to come back and we're going to do the back of them. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and they are dry-ish. They're dry enough. <laughs> they, like I said, it's absolutely freezing today, so it's going to take a while for them to properly dry, but they are dry enough that I can put them face down, and I don't think I'm going to have any problems. So let's just do that. So we're going to go ahead and do the back part, which I always super enjoy doing. I'm just going to grab out my glue page here because I'm just going to use it for color testing excuse my reach i'm just grabbing to see what colors we've got this one looks great so what i like to do on the back of my postcards is just sort of draw on the back part i really love doing this i think that it always turns out so like wobbly and cute and i don't know just very homemade looking which is what i love so i always just draw in all of the the parts you know i put the little little stamp box and then I like adding their little lines to address it and then uh, you know just like a few little bits here and there and then that is how I do the back of my postcards I think they look so cute I know these might not be for everyone because it's not very professional looking but I love like how imperfect and handmade it looks I don't know I just super love that so this one I think I want to go with like an orange colour maybe. I've got this one. Let's see what I think of that colour. Yeah, that'll be fine. This is a big Tombow marker. I haven't used my Tombows that much recently. Uh, I think because I got these knockoff Tombows a while ago and they have sort of taken over for me just because I have so many more colours because Tombows are so expensive compared to these knockoff pens. Um, yeah. And I felt like my Tombos were getting a little bit dry, maybe. I'd use them a lot. Um, okay, so I don't measure any of this or use a ruler. Oh my goodness, that pen needs to get out of my way before I lose it. 
Um, so I, yeah, I don't rule anything. I just kind of roughly mark in, you know, semi-straight where everything's supposed to go. Look how cute. How cute is that? Okay, what am I going to do here? I think I'm going to do... Oh, that's really wobbly. Alrighty, that's something. We're going to do another one here. I don't know, that's kind of weird, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's cute still. Okay, so that's the back of that postcard done. Let's do this one. I love this green colour. I want to see if I can find a really yellowy or oh, this one looks like it's going to be just yeah that's just neon yellow that's a note for this situation what about you you might be close yeah that's the one i love this really yellowy green it's such a fave color of mine i'm actually planning on doing some painting of our house and it will not be this pale but in our bedroom i'm painting going to be painting um part of the wall like a really dark green and i'm trying to decide if i want it to be a like a warm green or a cooler green. Um, but I do have a real partiality, I guess, to this, like to really yellowy green kind of colours. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen there, but I'm excited about it. And it was actually you guys. I believe it was on YouTube. I can't remember if it was Patreon or YouTube, but I think it was YouTube where I talked about the fact that I wanted to do a gallery wall and get my walls painted, but I felt like I should wait. And you guys were like, just do it, girl, do it. And I'm doing it. I've gone and picked out a whole bunch of like um, paint swatch cards. And I am really excited that hopefully soon we'll be painting our house. I just am very excited. Okay, this one, I love this dark blue. So I think I'm actually just going to go in with the same paint marker that I used before. Because why not? It will match and... It does the same thing, really, doesn't it? As a felt pen tip marker. It's just got to be a little more careful because it's going to take a little bit longer to dry. I don't want to rub my hand right through the wet paint. I'm so excited. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say was, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you greatly. I appreciate you being here. Um, I have, I'm going to leave a link in my description below, so check that out. I have a postable account. It's really, really great. If you don't have one, you should look into it if you like to send out happy mail. Um, basically, it's like a address book, and you can get people to, you know, put their addresses there. So I'm going to send out these four postcards to people in my address book. I'm just going to do it kind of at random. So... If you go over to the link that I've put in the description, it's in my Instagram bio as well. So if you forget to do it and then later on think, oh, I wish I was in her address book, you can find it in my Instagram bio as well, um, where you can just go in there, put in your postal address, and then at random, I'm just going to use that as a place that I can just send random mail to. So please feel free to go in and pop your address into my little virtual address book if you would like to potentially receive postcards or, I don't know, just random happy mail from me at any point in time. So that is, there is an option. These four I'm going to send out to some people in happy mail. So if you would like to be in with a chance of receiving a postcard from me at some point, um, go and pop your address into my postable account so like I said you can find the link to my postable account in the description of this video or over um through my Instagram bio so that is as simple as that and yeah I'm going to just send these out in some mail because I think that would be really fun to do so here are our postcards I'm going to keep this one up this way I think actually it's Oh, it actually looks dry, so I can put it down. Here are our cute little postcards. I love them. They're so sparkly and fun. Thank you so much for helping me put these together and, and being with me on the ride. I have really enjoyed myself making these fun, sparkly postcards, and I can't wait to send them out to some of you guys. So I hope you guys are doing really well, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, friends.